Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, tickets for AMC and Ape. This is the Sunday Outlook video, and in this video, we are going to be looking at the share count that has happened for AMC, what it means for us, and how the cost of borrowers is only going to continue increasing for AMC, meaning the shorts will continue to lose more and more money every day, and many more in this video. Now, as always, the Sunday Outlook video, I'll be talking about what I'm expecting from AMC and Ape in terms of the charts this week, and what i want to see as well along so make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end so as always we're going to start off with my personal technical analysis on amc and ape we're going to first start off with amc now we've already talked about a conclusion for what has happened last week for those of you who didn't watch the videos let me just quickly give you a rundown so the brief rundown of it is essentially we saw volume coming in and breaking that 772 which is talked about in our previous sunday out of the video so if you guys managed to catch that run congratulations to you and then we failed to of course break and stay above 824 but again we have talked about how that is very normal because we're going to get met with resistance and so going to this week what we're going to be seeing and what i think we're going to be seeing is possibly a retest now towards this level going into this 772 but of course after that it's looking like we are going to be bouncing now again tomorrow is very very important the opening of monday gives us the understanding of how much volume is going to be coming in if we are able to get a gap up opening in the zone of 824 and 884 and then we see the price at the end of the day close above 8 um, 84 then we're going to be looking at a very very nice run-up for the rest of the week essentially what we want to see from amc is two things one or actually even three things so this is on the scale of okay to very good the first thing is of course holding the area in between the zone of 772 and 824 because as the price of amc continues to stay higher it does increase the cost to borrow it does make the shorts run out of their position so that's also good but the next thing which is something i think we're most likely going to be seeing is the price actually closing in between the 824 and 884 zone so if we are able to see the price close in between the zone it's going to be a very good setup for the ongoing weeks going into the future and finally the best option that we could have of course there is also going to be bad options where we end below i'll be talking about that later on but then the best option will be if we actually see the price close above a84 because if we are able to see that then it's looking like in the short term we can be looking at a very big run up from amc and again that is of course what we want now in terms of what the bad options are obviously whilst we have broken of 772 and 762 with a lot of volume it does mean there are a lot of buyers now it seems like there's already some profit taken you know we see how it bounces off of the 200 ma and so for amc you know we may be very like unlikely even to be seeing sellers to actually breaking through the level of 772 and 762 but it doesn't mean we are not going to be getting short pressure on that case and so again this is possible but if we do get it i do think that we are going to be bought back up and i think it is very high likelihood this week that we are just testing in trying to close between the zone of 824 and 884 and now if we take a look at ape for ape it is of course very different so so far it looks like they are trying to keep the price of ape below this one dollar mark we can see the close for the friday was 0 0.9955 for the day before that was 9822 and the day before that was just above one dollar at 1.05 and so it's very clear that it seems like they're trying to keep the price just below that area of one dollar because of course it is trying to push the fact that it's a bad stock etc etc now we already know how important a stop is because we have talked about how it is the trigger for the squeeze for amc and how pivotal and important it is as it can raise money from amc to fundamentally improve the company and so of course this is what we've seen we've seen pressure of over 80 percent on dark pool for amc we've seen how much ftds and synthetics has already been stacked up for ftds you know uh, for eight even we've we've seen over a billion of that and so again the pressure coming in from ape is very very large now so for the technical analysis in terms of what we want to see this week obviously see the price actually just stay above one dollar will already be very good but ultimately we do want to see the price going back up to that 1.48 1.53 zone that is the most optimal thing for us to be seeing in ape and again it's very hard to judge that because of just how much more pressure there is in ape than amc 
But if we take a look at some of the news for going into next week, firstly, we have this from um, Hang Loose, who talks about this literally says that the entire float, uh, 516 million shares, was being held by 10,498 investors as of April 21st, 2022. So how many shares are the other 3,990 3, million shareholders holding? Essentially, it's just a, of course, the form where we look at as of the close of business on April 21st, 2022, the latest practical date before the filing of this proxy statement, there were 516 million shares of common stock issued and outstanding held by 10,498 registered holders. So again, that's of course talking about now, we have always wanted the share count as we wanted to see how much more shares there are. Now we already know that there is of course more than 10,498 investors of AMC. Now, I'm not even talking about, you know, just the large investors, even if everyone owns one or two shares, we still have a lot more than that, right? And so now we understand that, of course, most of the shares aren't actually owned by us, but rather by the brokers that we, of course, buy these shares from. Now, one of the interesting things that is said, of course, and again, there's always the debate and argument in terms of DRS in your shares is that, of course, we want to see something like that come out for GME as well, as the numbers should definitely be higher in terms of the investors. And again, you know, this is just something that we have to, I think it's very good that we found this out in terms of the shareholders. But of course, we want to understand how many shares are the 3,990 really holding because you know, this investors numbers isn't really adding up to how much the big community really is. And so we don't understand whether or not shares are of course being hidden or not. And so that is the first big thing. Now, the second thing we have is in terms of more on FTX token manipulate the price action of AMC. Essentially what it was, for those of you who can't see clearly, I'll just quickly zoom in, is that what it does was these tokenized stocks on FTX allowed hedge funds to say, look, there is 10 million tokenized shares over here. That could be redeemed for real ones, which reduces the cost of borrow because there's a peace of mind that these shares can and will be located. Hence why we are talking about in terms of the tokens as it gave hedge funds more leverage to short against us and it decreases the cost of borrow. Now, because of this, because of how FTX has already gone under and multiple other firms as well, we have already seen. So from late August to early November, the cost of borrow fee of AMC hovered around an average of roughly 18% on November 8th, just two days before the bank run on FTX would occur. From November 8th onwards, the cost of borrow fee skyrocketed, it ended up 55% on November 10th and the day that that FTX was reviewed to be insolvent. Then on November 12th, the cost of borrow dropped to just below 45%. And so, what it is, is essentially now there is less method for hedge funds to be finding shares of AMC. And of course, that will increase the cost to borrow for AMC. And firstly, this theoretically should decrease the short pressure for AMC and actually give us real um, buying pressure now as there's less synthetic shares, as there's less shell, sell pressure because there is just a massive ratio of maybe one buy pressure to maybe 10 sell pressure, which is again, very unhealthy and a manipulative of the price. But because of this, there is less of that. But also if these hedge funds are getting worried and they need, they're scared of the price moving up and they need to press it down, they will have to pay, you know, double, triple, four times, five times, six times the amount of money they had to back then in order to be finding the same amount of shares in order to short the same amount of shares. And that price is going to increase and increase as the future goes, as less and less tokens are available, as less and less ways of finding these shares, et cetera, et cetera. And so I think that this is a very big step up for us. And again, with what the current market condition is with everything, the less money they have, obviously the less, again, the less pressure they will have on AMC and that will increase the pressure for us. So I think that is also a major thing. Comment down below what you guys think about that. Now, finally, to look at some stuff in terms of the technical analysis. Firstly, we have from Roman Rico, which talks about volume range profile, nice and full below. Support on the 50 MA, 200 MA above. Lovely setup for a golden cross on one, um, the day one, one day time frame. Plenty of solid catalysts for AMC in the near future. And again, that's the first thing. Now, the reason why I am talking about this is because of course, I like I said, a lot of people obviously use these indicators and when it gives the incentive for um, people like who use these indicators, it gives us the understanding of what we're likely to be, of course, seeing for AMC. He talks about he's very happy he's accumulated and I think that goes the same 
for others as well. There was a lot of accumulations, hence why I said that it's very unlikely. Um, well, it's not to say that it's impossible, but it's just unlikely the price is going to go below 762 because of the accumulation. If we take a look at BAM investors, we talk about this is not a complex forecast on December, January from my BAM model's perspective. Myself is predicting AMC 14.23 retest minimum, $7.50 minimum from December to January. And so we could be seeing the price run up as we are seeing more, more incentive and bullish sentiment on AMC and APE. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.